Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. It has been way too incredibly long since the last episode, but we are back. As you already know, there were tons and tons and tons of submissions, so unfortunately I can't show all of them to you. But don't forget, you can check out every submission by searching up the hashtag on Twitter. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first setup. We back, baby. So our first setup comes to us from Sidesh. It's a super simple one, but this setup is an AMOLED lover's dream. I absolutely love the contrast here. This wallpaper is from Walloop. I've talked about that app a good amount in the past. And what I really like about it, besides the colors of course, is that the wallpaper leaves a lot of space for creativity, along with there being no status bar or dock. The icon pack was a great choice. It blends in beautifully with the middle wallpaper element. Right below that, we see a widget from the Ornit for KWGT, which also matches the icons and wallpapers perfectly. And lastly, we've got this finishing touch up top with his Twitter handle. I like it, it's a nice addition. Overall, it's a very nice setup, and I can easily see myself doing something like this on my Note 8. Next setup comes to us from Seif. Please forgive me if I've butchered your name. Now, not only did he win me over with this pair of Air Jordan 1s that he's got as his wallpaper, but it's the rest of the setup that I feel he did a great job with. First off, the Icon Pack is a perfect choice as it mixes in very nicely with this whole retro vibe the setup gives off. Also, there are no icon labels to keep things clean, which leads me into what I'll call the clean trifecta. No icon labels, no dock, and no status bar. And lastly, you've got that widget up top, which is from Mini for KWGT that displays the day, current weather condition, and the time. Overall, a clean, basic setup that screams throwback. Third setup comes from Iram. Now check this out. Included in this setup is this really slick, anti-notch animation loop, which you can find in the description if you're interested. As for the rest of the setup, you're looking at a 12 by seven grid layout. The clean trifecta is in full effect. Couldn't have chosen a better icon pack. This one matches perfectly. And the same goes for the widget selection as well. I like where the search bar sits and it's sized flawlessly. The widget up top is super clean. It's nice and minimal, and it really brings the whole setup together. On the bottom, you've got a home screen indicator. And on the next screen, you'll see month calendar widget and three more icons below that. Definitely an eye candy setup. I love it. Second to last, we've got more minimalism with this setup from Sujay. This was actually a pretty popular submission with about 100 likes on Twitter. Starting off with the clean trifecta, thumbs up for that. The icon pack matches the wallpaper very well, and the same goes for the widgets. And really, there isn't too much else to say about this setup. It is clean, it gives off a really chill and relaxing vibe with minimal color, smaller icons, and basic widgets. I do find having the weather inside of the search bar interesting, but it's something different and I like it. I could find myself doing something like this on my Note 8. Last but most certainly not least, we've got another popular submission, this one coming from Abhishek. Please forgive me if I've butchered your name as well. Yet another simple layout, but this one really jumps out at you with the wallpaper and widget selection. Starting off with the wallpaper, it is very, very nice. I love the style, I love the colors, and it gives off a nice, warm, relaxing look and feel. The widget selection is definitely on point. The colors match flawlessly, not to mention the font and that orange streak blend in beautifully with the whole painted look of this setup. The icon pack selection is great too, and they really let the widget and the wallpaper be the stars of the show. So there you have it for Best Android Setups episode number 28, part 1. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode, what you think I should change or adjust for the next one. Your feedback is greatly, greatly appreciated as always. Also let me know who you thought had the nicest setup in this episode. I thought they were all great, and I don't think I could choose a favorite. 
Lastly, don't forget to hit up the description where you can find tons of links, including a link to where you can check out all of the other super awesome submissions for episode number 28. But anyway, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. More videos like this coming your way. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for being patient with me. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks for watching, guys.